Good afternoon. It is uh, Saturday afternoon. I am here in uh, uh, Moore, Oklahoma. And uh, I just want to do a quick little video for a lot of you new truck drivers, uh, rookies, guys that are just coming out of school. Okay. I started driving over the road in 1986. And we were still using cab overs. I mean, we had air ride seats, but the only air you had in it was uh, the air between uh, your ass and the actual seat when you hit a bump. So <clears throat> we didn't have all the modern conveniencies that you guys have nowadays, like a APU, uh, good heat, good air conditioning in the truck. Uh, we had those wing windows that provided uh, 80 mile an hour air conditioning for us. The other thing that uh, I learned over the years is um, go to Walmart and get yourself 91% uh, alcohol and put that in your uh, wiper fluid. It'll keep it from freezing. The other thing is always carry food. Carry stuff that you don't have to heat you don't have to cook something easy make sure you carry cans of soup um, you can always heat that up you know throw it in a bowl throw it in the microwave heat it up um, the other thing that I like to carry and um, always have at least a, a bunch of them are these meat uh, sticks they're already sealed they don't need refrigeration. You can carry and eat these. These are nutritious. Carry nuts. Carry a big jar of peanut butter. You don't even have to worry about crackers. You can just eat a spoonful at a time. The other thing is, guys, make sure your fuel is not gelling up. Use the anti-gel. Uh, another thing I carry in the truck is an emergency candle and you can get them at any Bass Pro or any sporting goods store. Carry a, a small Bic lighter and you can put that somewhere, light it, and that will give you enough heat to keep you warm in your truck. Just make sure you crack the window on passenger or driver side somewhere away from where the candle is. Uh, just so you get some fresh air inside. Uh, water. Carry as much water as you can. Right now, um, I go to Walmart and I buy gallons of water. And I keep anywhere from 12 to 14 gallons of water in the truck at all time. You can do so much with water. You can drink. You can make coffee. You can make tea. You can make soup with it. You may be stuck somewhere in the snowstorm. I've been stuck on I-80 for days. Not only for you, but there's going to be four-wheelers that got stuck with you. And you're going to want to share with them to make sure that they stay alive. You guys have got to understand. And you got to have warm clothes. And you got to have enough clothes in your truck, I would say, for two weeks, just in case you can't wash clothes, whatever. Make sure you have enough boots. I run up in cold weather also. I went and got snowmobile boots. I have snowmobile boots. I have shoes. I have cowboy boots. I have insulated cowboy boots. I have everything I need from clothes to fit. A 50 to six, you know, 50 to 40 degree weather, all the way down to a goose down Parker. So, what's going on right now on Interstate 80? Guys are stuck in the middle of nowhere with nothing. You don't have a toilet. You improvise. You go and you get those. Um, Vanilla scented garbage bags or the uh, uh, the purple ones, lilac scented. 
get yourself a five gallon bucket put it in there two bags poop tie them up and then when you go someplace take it take it to a portalette or whatever or I have a porta potty in my truck only for emergencies we go to our, our shippers a lot of times they have the porta potties I will go there and uh, empty it out take a gallon of water fill it up wash it out dump it, in, bump it back into the uh, porta potty it's clean and ready to be used the next time they're not that expensive about 89 bucks um, you can find them you can pick them up at Walmart you can pick them up at any camping store uh, Bass Pro Shop has them you can order them from Amazon online pick it up at home carry it in your truck make sure you harry enough food dry food canned food like I said stuff that doesn't need to be heated up that you can open it and eat it things like corned beef hash um, chicken tuna fish you don't want to carry stuff in the refrigerator mayo mustard go to the truck stop and get the packets carry the packets use them once throw it away guys this is all about keeping yourselves alive that's the most important part I've said my piece. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you again.